with Pioneer coach Mike Jones. Pioneers come from behind. They knock off the Lee's McRae Bobcats in thrilling fashion. Corey Fagan with the go-ahead bucket and the three-pointer. This guy's Mike Jones. Early, Pioneers got off to a really good start. Things looked really well. A lot of stuff happened in the middle. And then the end was great. We'll talk about the stuff in the middle because I think that's that was the learning curve for this team coming in. You knew that you were going to have Chase. Got a lot of new guys out there. Got a right. chance to see some new kids that came, came in. I think they understood college basketball. I think it took a little while for them to get acclimated. I, I agree with that. You know, I, I honestly, I'm really disappointed. Uh, you know, I, I'm very happy for the win. Obviously, we take all wins. We're not going to turn any back. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, real disappointed in the way uh, three of the scene was. I wasn't happy with Kendall. I wasn't happy with Zach Davis. I wasn't happy with Corey. Way too many turnovers. Very sloppy play. Didn't shoot well, especially in the first half. But what we did get then as the game progressed and we got down and to start chipping away and make our run late was those seniors having that experience and composure to make plays down the stretch that was really critical to us winning. You know, we did have Chase, but Connor Mitchell, who missed all of last year, comes in. Did he plays hard. He yes, he hard. does. He does. Uh, Connor's such a, uh, you know, and when we get Chase back, um, you know, to have that tandem of those two, you know, I think that'll make him more comfortable. But he did some really nice things for us tonight and really helped us on the boards. Uh, and Brandon uh, Danso came in as a true freshman, really did some nice things back in Connor up. Um, and as, you know, Brandon and Caleb and Keaton, in particular, those three continue to get more experience. They're just going to get better and better. And you saw them hit some threes. You know, they're, they're guys that can make a lot of shots. They just got to get used to the speed and pace of the game. So. Dodson seems to be very comfortable shooting the three. He was right. a great three-point shooter. Another guy that seems very comfortable. We probably haven't seen the best as Baylark um, you know, tonight. We got off to a good start. He's looked good early. And they did a good job against him, though. It kind of frustrated his game, but he was he found ways to create other opportunities right. for other guys. He does a nice job. And he's a you know, he's a junior, had a very successful junior college career, and then Ronnie came in and really gave us some stability and some spots where we looked a little frantic. And, uh, you know, so I, I, we really, we're going to find a lot of value in Ron. He's going to be a really important key to what we do this year. Uh, but, you know, again, it comes back. Ken Patterson has got to be better. Um, he is he's too special a player to, to come out like this consistently and play, play that poorly. Uh, he was sloppy with the basketball and didn't make shots. Uh, definitely in the first half, he made it. He finally got something to go. So uh, he's going to be better and better. Corey Fagan is going to be better and better. And Zach Davis is going to be better and better. And as those three get better, our young kids get more experience, they're better, and then we get the big kid in the middle back. Yeah. Then, you know, we'll get a look at how good I think we can be. But uh, we got a tough task tomorrow, and, and uh, you know, they're going to apply a lot of pressure, and especially after watching tonight the way we kicked it around. So we got to be better tomorrow. I appreciate the fact that you told the guys to miss so many free throws tonight to keep it interesting, keep it close. We can have some thrilling moments there at the end. But when you talked about, you alluded to it, um, tomorrow the pressure is going to be a lot higher. There will probably be more fouls. You're going to have to rely on making some shots at that 15-foot mark tomorrow. Absolutely. And, and we've got guys that can do that, um, and we do it in practice. You know, So I, it's just a matter of you know the lights are on, the uniforms are on, and there's people in the stands. And that makes things different, especially for young guys. Um, hopefully we gained enough experience and kind of got that feel out um, and, and we can kind of can just move on for this. If we can, this can be our ugliest game of the year yeah. and we can get a win. And, and you know, and I think Lee McCree did a lot of things to really make life tough on us. Uh, their pressure was really good. You know, they were up in passing lanes, were turning it over. You know, his kids played really, really hard. Uh, and he's got some guys that can play. Yeah. So, you know, I think they're going to be a really good basketball team. As the year continues to go on, they get into the conference play, especially. Um, so I think that's a really good basketball team, and it's a really great win for us. I wish it was pretty. Right. Hey, look, Luis McRae has 12 guys back. They're a veteran Absolutely team. They're right. back. They, you know, they they can play. They had yep. some guys they could play. You take these ugly wins because it's a victory for your team. Right. But it's a huge learning tool. Obviously, this game has to be a huge learning tool. But there's not a lot of turnover for tonight, where which you can no. teach the guys. No. So they're going to have to learn on the fly. And, we're going to, and hopefully they learn as the game. You know, we had a lot of turnovers um, in the first half and a lot of steals by them. A lot of times we were going to them. And then the second half, they only had two steals. So we got, we talked about it hard at halftime. They came out, we were better in the second half than we were in the first. And, you know, we scored 53 points in the second half. And that's because there was, you know, eight possessions where we didn't throw it to them. And we actually got a look at the basket. So, you know, when we can make some free throws and score the ball like that, we, can, we got a chance to get some points in there. The interview started with the top button, unbutton, and they jack it off. He's Mike Jones.
I'm Brian Stegman, Pioneers victorious in game one of the season.